Donald Payne Jr. here. Hey, Council President, how you doing? Hey, how are you? Hey, what are you doing here tonight? Uh, well, I'm here in support of D. Bilal Beasley for a re-election uh, to the both chosen Board of Freeholders this year in the primary. Good, good, good. And what do you what do you think about Bilal Beasley? Well, I, I've worked with him now. Um, this is our second term, going into our third term once we're successful. And uh, he's been a real leader and someone that I've watch you know being coming in after him have seen uh, the leadership that he's shown on the freeholder board with during issues that impact us as a community and uh, he's just been a really great leader to watch and learn from and I've, I've, I've benefited from sitting on the chosen board of freeholders with D. Bilal Beasley and I'm looking forward to our third term together. Levy C. Jones, Councilwoman Jones what are you doing here this evening? I'm here to support D. Bilal Beasley a great leader of our community and he's also a friend. Oh, okay. So, uh, for all the people out there who might not know about Deepa Lyle Beasley, what type of person is he? Mr. Beasley is a natural leader. He's a man that can fix things in terms of if he gives you his word that he's going to do something, he follow through. Not only does he always been more interested in giving up himself and the community. There are so many activities and things that has occurred in the township. People have benefited from it, but they do not realize that Councilman of Freeholder Beasley is behind it. So he is definitely a natural leader. I'm here to support a, a good friend of mine, Freeholder Blau Beasley, who's part of my ticket in 2003. And he's no question has done an outstanding job representing his district. He's worked with me very closely in the last eight years and improving not only his district but the entire county and uh, I'm here to support him for re-election because there's no question he deserves to be re-elected. He's worked very hard for his residents and he's done an outstanding job. What are you doing here this evening? Good, how are you? Good, good, good. What are we doing here this evening? Well, I'm here in behalf of uh, the Democratic Committee supporting Blau Beasley for re-election uh, to another term as freeholder and uh, you know he's been there for us I've been uh, continually uh, involved in the activities of the Board of Freeholders and always looking out for his hometown, especially. And uh, I would hope that everybody would come out on Election Day and vote for him. You can't wish him in, you got to vote him in. So I look forward to everybody turning out and giving him a big vote on Election Day. Trying to make sure that Bilal has the resources for his upcoming June primary as he seeks re-election to the freeholder board and so we don't want to take for granted that he'll have all the things that he needs to mail and communicate with the voters. Clearly his record is a, should be enough but you got to remind the voters of that record. There is a clear choice in this election in District 2. Bebel Al Beasley. He has served this community well he will continue to serve this community well. There are questions, different questions raised by people that want to be where Deep Allow Beasley is. I say to them is gain a record, do something in your community that you can put forward and earn the right to run for office. You can't just show up and say, I want to be freeholder. <laughs> That's what he's doing. I want to be freeholder. Based on what? Based on what? We know, we know Freeholder Beasley's record in Irvington. They talk about that kind of stuff. Let me tell you how being a councilman helps being a freeholder. Because there are issues that will be in Irvington, and I know this because I'm in the same position. I'm a freeholder and a Newark Municipal Councilman. The continuity that I bring between my municipality and the county in getting things done for both, irrespective of what side of the issue you're on, you bring people together and you get these issues worked out. So it is a plus to have Freeholder Beasley hold this position. I want to go to the moon one day, but I have to prepare to go to the moon. I would have to go through astronaut training, make sure I'm qualified, and then I can go to the moon. Same thing for Freeholder. Build a record. Work with a freeholder. I worked with a freeholder prior to me running, so I knew what the job was. You can't just show up and want to be it 
for one other reason, other reason than serving this community. So I'm with D. Bilal Beasley. Proven track record. He has helped me on the freeholder board move forward, and it is a clear choice. This June, we are going to send freeholder D. Bilal Beasley back to represent the second district because it's the right thing to do. Thank you. things when it comes to Essex County as far as moving it to Essex County forward and also improving the quality of life for the people of Essex County. Freeholder Blau Beasley works very, very hard for the people that live in his district. He works very hard for everyone in the entire county, but when it comes to his districts, he makes sure that we're doing the right thing when it comes to Irvington Park. He makes sure that we make sure that the roads in uh, Irvington and his district are getting done. He works very, very hard. There's no question. It's a very clear choice that he deserves to be reelected. He's been my partner for the last eight years. He's done an outstanding job on the freeholder board. And more importantly, he's my friend. And, you know, the thing is, you need to have the experience. You need to know how to get things done. And whether he sits on the city council in Irvington or as a freeholder, he works for the people 24 7. And there's nobody better than Freeholder Bob Beasley doing the right thing for the people of the township of Irvington, but also his district. So there's no question, whatever it takes from now to election day, we're going to work hard to make sure he gets reelected yeah. as Freeholder. Freeholder, yeah. congratulations. Ralph Caputo. Ralph Caputo, Assemblyman Caputo, and Vice President of the Board of Freeholders. How are you today? Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Tell us why you're here. I'm here for my dear friend, Blau Beasley, who has served the people of his district extremely well over the last nine years or whatever as a, as a freeholder and obviously as a councilman and Democratic chair of Irvington, couldn't find a better person. A one okay. That's really sweet. Well, we appreciate you being here and thank you. And I support him 1,000%. As we all do. Thank you. Thank you very much. And the reason it's wonderful is that I am here to honor D. Blau Beasley. I have to tell you something about him that no one has mentioned. He happens to be the nicest, the sweetest man that I can think of. Right? <laughs> right, Paul? <laughs> he, is, he is just wonderful. And I have served on the freeholder board with him since he first became a freeholder and I truly care a great deal about him. And I know he cares about all of you. He cares about his district. He cares about Irvington. And we can always be sure on the freeholder board that when something comes up, that he knows that he can do the best for all of you, he will do it. So it is truly an honor to be here in honor of D. Bilal Beasley. And now, Freeholder Ralph Caputo. Hi, how are you? I'm wonderful and everything looks pretty good. So you're here to support D. Bilal Beasley. Tell everyone why you're here. I'm here because Bilal's running for re-election for the Freeholder in Essex County and I'm here to offer my support. Uh, we've been working together for several years on several different events and different activities throughout Irvington and Newark and I'm just here to offer my support because our family's been working together for, for years. Okay, so for those of you who don't know who this woman is, like I said, this is Cleopatra Tucker. She's an assembly woman and tell everyone what it is that you do for those that do not know. Well, I represent the 28th district uh, for the legislature and I represent the township of Irvington, parts of Newark, Bloomfield, Belleville and, um, and we go to Trenton and we make laws and we do um, he do hearing public hearings on different events different eight you know different things that come about in this in the state where we, you need like education we hold hearings on education hearings on mental health health issues and I'm on the human service committee and uh, the uh, veterans committee Okay, she said a mouthful, none other than Assemblywoman Cleopatra Tucker here to support D. Bilal Beasley for re-election this coming June. Let me, uh, let me just first uh, you know, thank Andrew for uh, an opportunity to say a few words on behalf of my 
my good friend Bilal Beasley, and uh, certainly always at his side, his wife Basima. But let me uh, let me just let me just say, share something with you. You know, he mentioned that we have a relationship that uh, you know goes back 20 years, and uh, you know it goes back to when you know I first uh, you know entered uh, you know this whole political arena, and I had the opportunity to run for. Uh, the District 3 freeholder seat, which East Orange, you know, was represented, uh, and Irvington North is also part of that, uh, that district. And from that point on, you know, he and I became friends. He walked me through Irvington. Uh, you, know, he, uh, you know, he introduced me to a community, and I was, uh, I was actually able to serve for two terms before moving on to the New Jersey General Assembly. And, uh, you know, when I look back and I see some good friends who were back then part of the county police and now still are being, you know, honored for doing, you know, what's right on behalf of people and Bilal recognizing those people, that means that he's continuing to do the right thing. And now he's involved in an election, you know, with, uh, you know, a person that, you know, really hasn't quite got it yet. You know, because I receive all these crazy emails, uh, you know, that, you know, kind of talk about, you know, this man here. And, uh, you know, essentially, you know, they talk about his very, very humble beginnings as if there, you know, there, there was some reason to be, uh, you know, embarrassed by having a humble beginning. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I don't say that that's just a humble beginning. I say that this man has lived the American dream. And there's certainly nothing, you know, to be, you know, ashamed or concerned about living the American dream because he. You know, he's been able to, you know, to carve out a path for younger people to come along so that they can impart and they can participate in what we call the American dream. And that's why today, here in the city of Newark, to the people of Irvington in the second freeholder district, we have to say that we have to continue to elect people like Bilal Beasley to serve in government because he understands it, he gets it, he's of the people. He, you know, he walks the walk and, and, and talks the talk. I mean, he's the guy that uh, you know has that common touch and he's walked with kings and queens so ladies and gentlemen today i'm here on behalf of my friend his wife you know and his organization to say that we are you know we are not going to leave one vote unturned we are going to you know we're going to approach that second district you know with uh you know with tenacity and we are going to see on june 7th who should be the freeholder because the freeholder who has been serving and serving well needs to be reelected. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you all, if, because you wouldn't believe here, believe that. So ladies and gentlemen, let's do the right thing. June 7th, reelect my friend Bilal Beasley. Council Member Quinzel McKenzie. Hi, can you tell me why you're here? Sure, I'm here in support of uh, count, uh, Councilman and Essex County Freeholder D. Bilal Beasley. Uh, Bilal has been uh, very much a supporter of me. It is easy to support someone that's been supportive of you. And so with all my fiber being in Sanu, I will throw all of my support for D. Bilal Beasley. Here's why. Bilal has worked hard over the years in the township of Irvington as well as Essex County. He's a native son of Essex County, born and raised here in Essex County. And in addition, uh, Irvington needs representation. Uh, the freeholder seat, quite frankly, in Essex County belongs to the Township of Irvington, and we need representation there. When you look at Essex County, there's no one that sits on the freeholder board that represents the Township of Irvington other than D. Bilal Beasley. So prior to 2002, when he arrived to the uh, freeholder board, we had no representation. So basically it was taxation with no representation. And I'm glad to have D. Bilal Beasley there. And again, I hope and I'm working toward his reelection again to Essex County uh, Freeholder Board. Okay, well we appreciate it. And I'm sure he appreciates you being here. Thank you. Thank you, Jacqueline. What a dear friend and mentor. Okay, now for those of you who don't know who this man standing to my left is, he can tell you a little bit more about himself and what he did. I'm a um, councilman from the Central Ward in Newark, New Jersey. Um, ten months into my first year in office, and I'm uh, very excited. A lot of challenges, but a lot of great opportunities. And Bilal has been a, a mentor to me for a very long time. And um, anytime he calls me for anything, I'm there to support him. Well, with that being said, from councilmen all over the Essex County area, Sharif, we appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Sure. Okay, hi, Linnell. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm wonderful. Can you tell everyone why you're here? Because he is my mentor. And we've been together for about 25 years. And I hope we can continue. Okay, okay. <laughs> 
So let me ask you a question. So when you look at uh, D. Bilal Beasley, what do you see? What makes you want to keep supporting him in a township of Irvington? A strong, positive person that he never, he never says anything bad about anyone. He pushes you up a little bit. Which is very hard in politics. Yes, but I like that. And it gives me something to do uh, because of the way he lives. And I'm out there with him with politics and you know, all of that. I never knew anything about politics until I met him. Well, I think that's awesome. And I think it's great that he inspires you as well as me. You know, and me being young and getting into this politi um, politic genre um, is, is, is informative, is educational. Um, you can learn a lot from watching our seniors, mm -hmm. okay, um, which I'm very honored to be standing here with you. Learn about old folks. 